Hello everyone, and welcome back to Automachef. In this second gameplay video I'm going to show you how to properly set up a kitchen that can make two different types of burgers. For this purpose we'll be using order readers, um, a special machine that can turn other machines on or off depending on the orders the customers place. So as usual here we can see the level objectives. We will have to make 10 dishes and in this level we will have two different recipes. We will have the cheeseburger, that's a new recipe, and we will also have to make plain burgers as we have seen in the previous video. If you haven't seen video number one, I think you should see that one first and then come back to this one. So we will start by placing the, the assemblers for both the cheeseburger and the plain burger. Here we can see the recipe for both. Okay, so let's start building our kitchen. One center first, then the other. This one will make the plain burgers, and this one will make the cheeseburgers. So now we need to provide them with the ingredients. The output of both machines is going here, so they end up in the zone for the finished dish. So, we are going to set up a, a production line to make the cooked patties. We start with the dispenser that will dispense the raw patties first. Here is the grill where they are going to be cooked. And the robotic arm that's going to place the raw patties on the grill. This one is the one that will take the cooked patties out of the grill and we are going to place them here in a storage unit where they will be saved until we need them in either assembly. So these are the two arms that are going to take the cooked patties out of the storage unit. We are going to need dispenser to dispense the, the bread and also the cheese for the cheeseburger. So, and the processor is going to turn the cheese into cheese slices. That's uh, the product that the assembler needs to make the cheeseburgers. I'm just setting up a few things, changing the time between the ingredients to make sure everything works properly. And placing the robotic arms that will take all of the ingredients and place them into the assemblers. So this should work already, but we are going to see in a moment that bad things happen because the ingredients are dispensed at different speeds and we are getting a lot of cheese and a lot of bread but not enough patties also we have the two robotic arms competing to see which one takes the cooked patties first from the storage unit that's not good either so we are getting burgers, but um, this won't work in the long term because the assembler eventually is going to be full of bread and cheese and will stop working. So we are going to use order readers to solve this problem. We will place an order reader here first. And this one will um, automatically turn on the dispensers whenever someone orders a cheeseburger. So we are going to connect it to the robotic arm and to both dispensers, the one that dispenses the bread and the one for the cheese. And we are going to tell the order reader that whenever someone orders a cheeseburger, the robotic arm will do its action one time and the same for the dispensers. They will dispense ingredients just once every time someone did, uh, orders a cheeseburger. We're going to place a second order reader here and this one will detect whenever someone orders a plain burger. And for this one we will do something different. We will just tell the assembler to assemble one burger whenever someone orders a plain burger. 
So these are two different approaches to the same problem. One is going to control the ingredients and the other is going to control the assembling of the burgers. And let's see how it works. Here's the other reader. We can see that the small screen it has, it tells us the total number of orders this reader has detected. So, so far people have, have ordered two plain burgers and one cheeseburger and we see that on the screens. And the first burgers are coming out. We have fulfilled our first order, the cheeseburger is on its way. Everything's working perfectly so far. So someone else has ordered a cheeseburger, we can see the bread, we can see the cheese. All the robotic arms uh, are taking the, the cooked patty. Everything goes into the assembler and the cheeseburger is being assembled. And there it is. Meanwhile, the other assembler is still working because it has some work to do. Here we can see two people have ordered cheeseburger and eight have ordered the plain burger. Let's speed this up a little bit. Just two more to go. That's one to go and we are almost there. Perfect. So, um, I hope this video will be useful for some of you. Um, this is a, a very good way to set up your kitchen so you will avoid ingredients being wasted and you will only uh, manufacture those dishes you actually need instead of uh, doing stuff all the time and then figure out if you really needed it or not. So in the next video we are going to cover some more advanced topics and I will see you then. Thank you!